Dinner. <laughs> Armadillo. Armadillo catch and cook. We'll never starve with these guys around. Last night, armadillo and raccoon. Can you hear my stomach growling? <laughs> Did you hear it, Ori? Hi there. My stomach's growling. It's either, it's either because of me not eating, or it's because I ate raccoon and armadillo yesterday, <laughs> and probably have leprosy. No, I'm just kidding. You hungry, Ori? Okay. It's looking nice. I bet it's ready. Well, we're adding some wild onions right now into this uh, leftover armadillo and raccoon. We had this earlier and I think it's still a gift that keeps on giving and we can still continue. We got some Montreal in here. And we got the remainder of the animal and it's gonna simmer in there nicely. Is it white? Mm -hmm. It's not too much. <laughs> it's not too much. Here's our soup. We want it to fall off the bone. We want it to start becoming broth. We have wild onions in there some Montreal seasoning that I always carry some kind of seasoning with me. That should be delicious when it's ready. It's definitely gonna have the broth. See the wild onions, raccoon, and armadillo. So yep, that's what we're doing guys. I'm just showing you that you can, uh, sustainability and you can, you can literally uh, survive with this kind of situation yeah i mean this is different guys you know i got i got deer leases all around me there's land everywhere in texas but where you are you also have somewhere you can go and do this and it's good practice and just in case stuff hits the fan it's good for you to know how to survive i'm not trying to pull a bluff on you guys and do some kind of a fowler out in the rockies whatever i mean even they had fish they can catch as much as they want and they pretty much that's all they ate which is fine you got to eat what you have. What I have is armadillo. What I have is possum. I don't have anywhere to fish around here. Um, we got squirrels. They're just kind of hard to shoot right now because they, they're just fast. And getting them with a 22 is not easy. Um, but you know what? We're, we're not going hungry. We had coon and armadillo right here. That's what's left. We have some meat for tonight, just in case we don't get something. But we should get something. But this is becoming soup quite nicely. I got the claw in there. I know it's weird, guys, but that'll add flavor. Everything that we can use, we're going to use to make this soup. I might have to add a little more water because it's going to boil down. But it's going to become a nice broth. And I'm just assuming it's going to be delicious. But day two guys of the challenge, my stomach was upset and kind of hurting and I, uh, I ate some, it was weird. It was, it seemed like it was missing something roughage or I don't know what, but as soon as I ate the wild onions, my stomach has settled and I feel completely fine and satisfied. And now I'm making a soup that should help as well with uh, vitamins, minerals, and uh, whatever it is that's in there. And so it's important to get, be healthy out here, not just eat meat. Make sure your meat's cooked, especially if it's if you're not sure about the type of game it is. Um, we can hunt hogs, we can hunt deer out here, but we also have plenty of armadillo and we have plenty of uh, raccoons, and so we're definitely going to be enjoying some of that. And right now we're making a very nice looking soup. We want the meat to start falling off the bones. We want that broth to start becoming very delicious. Take a sip, it's really hot, but. Mm. 
That's very good. Salty, it's got a perfect, perfect flavor to it. I'm gonna add a little bit of water so others can have it, and it's gonna be ready by the time they get here. Wild onions, raccoon, armadillo, just gorgeous soup. Okay guys, all we used is raccoon, armadillo, Montreal seasoning and wild onions. Okay guys, so these are wild onions. We have them chopped up. We have the meat in here. Hot, very hot. But I'm just gonna take a bite of skin, meat, and broth. That was gristle and bone, but you're gonna get that in the wild soup. Especially when you just throw in the whole whole animal and what's remains of the bones. Oh, it's amazing, guys. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, it's picks your spirits up. You feel like you're eating something healthy. We've had meat off this. We're making soup off of it. We're keeping the hide, as you can see. Uh, the armadillos not gonna do anything for us except right now I'm just using it as, as aesthetics and authenticity but uh, this raccoon is gonna make a nice pelt and uh, he's not gonna go to waste not not his not his pelt not his bones not the broth the meat we're gonna enjoy it this was shot by one of our friends here yesterday and the armadillo was shot by me yesterday and they're both just as good Oh, it's just delicious. Orel, come here. It's a little bit spicy. It's probably gonna be a little bit spicy for, for my eight-year-old, but she's gonna eat it um, because she's hungry. But it does have a spice to it because I did put a good amount of this, which I don't think I needed to, but it gave it really, really nice spicy flavor, like a ramen noodle almost. And it's just, really really good but uh, um, Montreal doesn't endorse me or so you know they don't uh, pay me or anything it's just I like to use it it's a easy seasoning and it's a kind of a season all which is exactly what it is but this broth guys is so soothing and so comforting oh, man. it just feels good guys to just be even though I'm in the dirt just to be one with nature. So delicious. I, I, I personally wouldn't want to live any other way. Ori, come over here. Come in and taste the soup, baby. Come over here. Duck down right here. Just grab some of the broth. Blow on it. Take a sip. It's going to be a little bit spicy, but it's really good flavor and it's going to be good for you. Make you feel good. It's not that hot. Just drink it. Not good? Spicy? Oh. There you go. And don't spill it. Not nice. Cheers. Guys, so good. So good. I can't even tell you how good it is. That meat's amazing. Or you're spilling everywhere. Are you enjoying it? Yep. So this raccoon, you can take this, take this off, let it cool off over here if you want. Now oh, that smoke is coming towards us. The wind's shifting everywhere, guys. It's gonna be really hard to hunt tonight. Wow. But that wind is shifting everywhere. Okay. I think it's back. I think it's. You wanna go do that now? Yeah. If you're done. You want some of this meat? Here, come here. <laughs> Uncle Jordan, come watch me. I gotta stay here and make sure the video's good. Tell her, Josh. I'll come film you in a minute, baby. Yeah, we'll be out there in a minute, Ori. Mm. What? 
We'll be out there in a minute. Love you. Guys, look, I haven't starved yet. So when you're out here and something's hit the fan and you got nothing except what's in the woods, you need to know. You need to know what you can do. It's your obligation, it's your duty for your family, for you. That's the only thing that you're asked to do in this world is survive, guys. Some of you just survive, some of you thrive. I like to do both. There's nothing wrong with the soup, guys. Look. This soup is lifting my spirits. Look right here. It's got the wild onions in it. And it's got some delicious meat in here that I can pick off the bones. I got armadillo, I have onion. I have raccoon. This is armadillo right here. And it was getting really tough. And instead of throwing it away, I decided to make a soup out of it to break it down. You could just keep breaking it down and keep doing stuff out of this, guys. The meat just continues to break down. Eventually you boil it, you get down to the bone marrow. There's literally no waste necessary in this animal. Zero waste. Am I in the middle of nowhere? Not really. There's a town about 15, 20 miles. You know, I got a camper I could stay in, but I'm doing a challenge. I decided to do a challenge that's gonna challenge me. Something I enjoy and something I wanna know that I could push myself to do. And that is, if I have to, and if to have no food, which is very convenient, I got restaurants, I got everything. Can I start a fire? Can I hunt? Whether it be a bow, a spear, a stone, whatever's legal in your state, in your county, do I have what it takes to survive, guys? Do you have what it takes to survive? Could you eat an armadillo? Armadillo foot? Just like you would do chicken feet for flavor? So good, guys. That armadillo has bunions. You sit there sucking all the bunions. Oh, that armadillo is so good, dude. He doesn't even know how good he is. I'm <laughs> <laughs> for sure he don't know anymore. Hey, but you know what? He served a greater purpose, didn't he? He got on YouTube. He got famous. He made it. He made it. He made it. Of all his cousins and his nieces. <laughs> that, he made it. that have died or lived in vain, right? Yeah, he made it. I, need, I feel like my stomach needs roughage, and this is the only thing that I know to eat out here aside from acorns. Green onions. They're good, too. They're not bitter. You know, they have a good flavor. I'm like sweet. Yeah. So I can, I can cut them up and use them as seasoning. And anything I eat, this has a little bit of sand on it. It's very sandy out here. You're just going to have to deal with it. But I feel like I'm getting some nutrition and some kind of vitamins out of eating that. You can't just eat meat alone. You got to learn how to eat what's out there as well and know that you can eat certain plants. And that's what I'm learning how to do. He's learning how to do. You're learning how to do. We're all learning how to do. Absolutely. Orel's learning how to do. It's part of our Texas jungle, and it's it's part of the life that we're wanting to learn. Absolutely. Um, are we roughing it? I mean, I don't know if you want to call it that. I mean, we have we still have the truck here, and we have a camper over there, We've got a generator. But the whole point of this is to learn how to self-sustain when you're Absolutely. out here. If something hit the fan, this is exactly the setup I would have. I would have this. Now, would I have availability for gasoline and start a generator? Probably not. But I might still have my camper here, mm -hmm. and. I have the source the resources that I have here and this is what I'm gonna um, I know that I'll be able to survive I know that I'll be able to raise my kids because I have a child over here learning how to live outdoors Rhett knows how to is learning how to live outdoors for his family Absolutely. and then learning that this right here is not just a cute little bandit or not just something you see on Sunday morning cartoons on Nickelodeon 
these are this is actually food that was put here for us and uh and as cute as they are there's there's an abundance of them and this is what why they're here and so we're just tapping into the resources call it what you want but if walmart heb food line shuts down what do, what are you gonna be what are you gonna eat what do you have that's what i'm asking you and so i hope you're learning something we're learning something we're enjoying this and hope you find your outdoors find your jungle and do this with your family eat good enjoy life